The soup is burning. No, it's not. It's burning. Yeah. You don't have no water in it. <laughs> you guys, I'm still doing these skillet meals, and today I'm doing chicken soup in the skillet. Welcome to the Bear Pantry Show. If you want to learn how to cook in simple steps and have your dishes come out great the first time, then you're in the right place. Learn to make restaurant-style meals, comfort foods, and authentic Belizean dishes from basic ingredients. So first of all, let's put some olive oil in a skillet. And then I'm just going to take a few pieces of the meat that I want from the whole chicken that Joe cut up earlier, okay? So he cut it up, washed it with the distilled white vinegar, and he seasoned it with salt, black pepper ricotto, garlic powder, onion powder, and a little bit of cayenne, okay? So now I have the skillet on 350. Well, I'm adjusting it to 350. I had it at 300 first. Now I'm cutting up some onion, and you don't have to cut up the onion this small. You can leave the onion chopped, you know, kind of big. But I'm cutting it up small. And what I've noticed is that it browns pretty quickly in the electric skillet versus if you're doing it in a skillet on the stove. I think because the heat stays at one constant temperature, right? Yeah, so it's already browning. Don't forget to pick up my books, guys. And thanks to everybody who has been purchasing the books. You guys are so awesome. You rock. You can look in the description below to find out how to buy, all right? So I'm just making sure these two pieces go a little bit longer. The wing is always a problem. The wing never really wants to get brown. So now let me toss my onion in. And I just want to saute these for a little bit because they will get soft when we start cooking the soup because you know they're gonna boil but I want them to get a little bit brown I will be putting potatoes in the soup and normally I would only put two like this to feed two or three people but because I want to share some of the potatoes and the carrots with the dogs I'm gonna put extra okay I'm not gonna be giving them the broth because it's gonna be too spicy because Joe put that little touch of cayenne but just the potatoes and the carrots to go with their meat so let me go ahead and cook up my little onions here put water don't let it burn and keep adjusting your temperature as you need to when you're doing this part. Now let's put back in the pieces of chicken. And if I were cooking this on the stovetop, I would let the chicken cook for like 20 minutes first and then add the potatoes in. But I'm going to add the potatoes now because the skillet is cooking kind of fast. So I'm going to add the potatoes now but add the carrots a little bit later, okay? You guys know I've never used a potato peeler. Every time I've tried to use a potato peeler, it's, it kind of scuffs off or sloughs off some of my nail. So I don't mess with that. Just set my little peering knife. And I'm cutting them into big chunks because I don't want them to get too mushy in the soup, okay? All right, let me get some water. Because the chicken needs water to boil in. The potatoes need the water also. And we are making soup. So we need to add a lot of water. And no, I don't add chicken broth to make chicken soup. The chicken is going to make its own broth, right? Set it aside, walk away, come back about 20 minutes later. I've checked the potatoes and they're kind of fork tender, but they still have a little bit more to go. So now it's time to add in the carrots, big chunks of carrots again here, guys. Okay, get them all in here. Give it a stir. Then put the lid back on. And now I let 15 minutes go by. So now I'm checking to see if this is fork tender. Yeah, this is good. This is good too. So now we have to season. One teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of black pepper. Well, you know, half a teaspoon. Don't put too much. And I didn't use my little thing Joe gave me. I'm going to have to use that in the, next, in the next video because I have it on the baker's rack and I just didn't grab it just now. So mix it in well because you want to make sure the salt and the black pepper gets throughout the whole soup. And then taste it. See, it's good. Don't put the same spoon back in there if you have to taste again, okay? Especially if you want to feed other people. I'm going to put some cabbage because I love steamed cabbage, some tomatoes. Mm. You could put any vegetables you want. Being that I'm on this healthy eating plan, I need a lot of vegetables. So, look guys. Look at it guys. Now, if you want this to look more red, 
put a can of crushed tomatoes in here, okay? You can put celery, you can put sweet potato, you can put any other things that you want in here in the way of vegetables, but I like the taste of this broth. I like the taste of our Belizean chicken soup. This is my bowl right here to stay on my healthy plan. That's the portion of the protein, the vegetables, the grains, and of course the broth will fill me up. And I don't took too long, I got hungry. <laughs> So I'm gonna go eat this, sit down in a chair quietly and eat this and just enjoy. So this is a skillet meal, but it's also one of the meals from the plan that I'm doing right now, the healthy balance. Now I'm gonna put a video in between these skillet meals that I'm doing right here. And the video is gonna be what I did, the you know, the main things that I did to change to get on the plan right away, especially where it pertains to breakfast because some of you have asked for that. So if you like what I've produced right here, go ahead and subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can know when I upload another video. And of course, thank you so much for picking up my books. Bye guys. Remember guys, we are not buying this book. Because if you do, the only people that are making money from that book are my ex-distributor and Amazon. Pick up this book instead. This is my Belizean cookbook. It has 120 authentic Belizean dishes that I've done on the show already, but now you can have it in print so you can follow along and your dishes will come out perfect each time. Hot off the presses, this is my second cookbook, guys. It's called The Pantry Laid Bare, and I named it that because I laid everything on the line when I picked the recipes for this book, all right? 111 delicious dishes from Basic Ingredients. To purchase, just check below on any of my videos and you'll see the different methods of payment and also the shipping. Thanks guys!